What's up, fam? Sitting here waiting uh, at the bus stop for my bus to come. Yeah, that's right, Jen Ether catches buses to get my shit done. I don't got no whip right now. But, that's Uh, there's, there's a subject matter I've been wanting to discuss, and like it's based off of a Drake lyric. It's an extra dope lyric that I love the lyric, so don't get me don't get me wrong. This fucking lyric is one of the dopest lyrics. It should definitely stay in the hip hop fucking uh, vocabulary for many many years. But anyway, the boy Drake, I believe in the song Back to Back. The boy Drake said, "Bitch, you wasn't with me, you been in the gym." So I'm gonna speak on that because I believe. Too many of us take that phrase way too fucking literal. Like, at the end of the day, what Drake meant that was if he wasn't with me while I was putting in this hard ass work, or if he was fading me then, don't try to eat off my plate now, because he wasn't with me when I was sleeping in the film. So, that was the meaning behind it in Drake, in, in my opinion, when Drake put it in his song back to back. Now, as far as for everyone else, the reason why I say that we need to stop taking that shit so literal is because if you even break down the phrase, not from the song, I'm just saying, break down, bitch, you wasn't with me hooping in the gym, or mom, you wasn't with me hooping in the gym, or a friend, you wasn't with me hooping in the gym. If you take those words and really think about what they mean, I used to hoop in the gym. I mean, I played basketball for my high school team, or I played basketball up until high school, so, I mean, elementary school, middle school, and high school, I hoop. And when I was conditioning or in the gym, like just shooting my free throws, fucking 100 to 1,000 free throws, depending on if I can make 10 in a row, when I was running my suicides, when I was running the fucking ladder, fucking dizzy as hell from running so much, like my mom, my dad, my grandma, my best friend, no one I loved was there while I was doing that shit. No one was there while I was actually preparing for the fucking game. So, we need to understand that, like, the game of life and us being entrepreneurs and us being uh, independent musicians, of course we take our art very personally, but you're the one with the game plan. You're the one every day mapping out exactly how you want your shit to go. You have your vision. So it's ridiculous, absurd, and stupid, sorry, to think that your mom, your dad, your grandma, your girlfriend are going to be able to like really envision and see your plan how you see it that's not their job their job is to be supportive so back to me putting in my work putting in my practice inside yeah i mean inside of the gym during my conditioning that was all me i had to do that shit by myself i had no one share me all like yeah go ahead with that leg press go run no laps girl no one no one did that shit but when it was fucking game time and time for me to really hit the court. That's when my friends and family came out to support. That's when I got that love. That's when I heard MJ coming from the crowd when it was time. So depending on what you do, if you're an indie musician, that's why I usually gear all my content towards. That's what I am. So if you're an indie musician, like while you're plotting, writing, marketing and promoting and planning out your shit, like just know you won't be doing this shit on your own. And when it's time for you to hit the stage or put out your first mixtape or whatever, that's when you'll get to see who really got love for you. Yeah, man. But no one's going to be hooping in the gym with you, literally. Like, while you're hooping in the gym, everyone else is trying to get their shit, too. So they're also hooping in the gym. So I just wanted to make sure that we, we got a clear take on that. Like, don't get all shitty with your peoples because you feel like they're not supporting you enough. You need to be your number one fuck. You need to be your own star player, as Cat Williams said. You need to know what it is for yourself. And leave everyone to fuck alone. I think we treat people unfairly because we feel like they should get the vision. But it's your vision. So just like they don't see yours clearly, you can't see theirs clearly. You don't know exactly what they're mapping out and plotting. So just keep that shit in mind. Keep your head down. Stay positive. And know that your loved ones do support you. It's just not their job to be with you every step of the way. That's your job. So, yeah, man, put your skirt up, B, and get on your job, you yeah, know what I mean? Period. You. We only got one life to live, and people die every day out here, B. I yeah, mean, people get shot every day, B. So, pull your skirt up and get to work. Let's go. Jen Ether, fam, B. Hope y'all enjoyed this message.